Yo, what is up guys? I'm coming at you here from Sector 232 with a new gameplay video. This is one of those Taco Man vs. Sector videos where I go against the whole sector. Now, I have been in this sector for about a week now. Probably a little bit more than a week. I jumped here before the event. I planned on doing my event and on the last day of the event going a little crazy start stealing a bunch of the new convoy bases you know or just have some fun but that did not work out because I got insanely bored after my first day and I couldn't help it I went out I started bubbling a lot of people you know just having a lot of fun like I always do and as you can see here they they did a six hex jail around my base with a bunch of platoons so I got bored, I decided to break out, I had nothing to do, my event was finished already, I didn't have anything to go for, so I decided to just kill all these scorpions that are outside my base. As you guys can see here, I used that old Archangel trick to kill them all. Um, I just, yeah, that's pretty much what I did, I just killed these platoons outside my base. This was on the first day of me being bad. But you will quickly see that these guys do not mess around. This sector was pretty unified. It's mostly Asians. They don't really speak English. And they are pretty vigilant. Constantly surrounding my base. So this was day two. The jail, as you can see, got a little bit bigger. I found this Ronin platoon outside my base. Do not, guys, when you, are, when you see Ronin, if you ever come up against Ronin, do not send night owls at it. You're gonna take a lot of damage regardless, unless you're willing to coin them. It's just not worth it. There's better ways to take them out. You know, you could use um, twin titans to distract them or something. I I don't know why. Every time they send a Ron into my base, and look, they also had Sarkis in there. I took so much damage right there on that platoon. It's so annoying. I gotta stop doing that. Every time I see a Ronin, I just wanna attack it, and then I end up losing a lot of night owls. Especially if it's Ronin plus Sarkis, because Sarkis will mess your Night Owls up. So you guys need to be real careful with that. So as you can see here, I woke up and I was like, holy shit, these guys are crazy. This is the biggest jail I have ever had, or one of the biggest jails I have ever had. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. So I finally decided to put purchase the trophy. Uh, I wanted to save that for the video, because my event is over, I'm done with it just wanted to get that trophy. Sandstorm bases were about to drop, so I was like, okay, I'll have some fun for a little bit, then I'll focus on the Sandstorm bases. I went over to one of my deposits. I'm running the forward special up, up the forwarding base so that I can, um, so that I can deploy platoons from any deposit that I have on the map. I d deployed nine platoons, sent them all around the map, getting ready for that, um, getting ready for that base drop. And I just wanted to leave one platoon open so that I could deploy it for my base and start messing around in the jail. I wasn't really trying to break out, as you guys can see, I'm already out. I have nine platoons out on the map. I just wanted to have some fun and kill the platoons. So right here is the last platoon. I've got them all spread out, so I was like. Alright, let me just go kill this chick. She was really annoying me yesterday, you know, calling all these names. I did steal uh, Inferno base from her after she used a lot of special forces, but I'm like, come on, you don't gotta call me those names. It's okay, you don't need to get so angry. So I waited till she was offline and decided to flatter real quick. This is an easy level 33, she didn't even have any base defense. After I flattened her, I decided to go to my base. And that's when the fun started, just started killing platoon after platoon after platoon. So, this is basically just a platoon sniping video. I have a lot, of, I killed so much platoons. I got, I actually got bored after about an hour because there was just so many of them. These guys are some insane pointers. So yeah, that's pretty much what the video is gonna be about. You guys can just grab something to drink, sit back and relax and watch 20 minutes of sped up platoon sniping. I know a lot of you guys love to watch the videos, especially right there with the Archangel taking no damage. Lots of practice, lot, um, 
This takes lots of practice. Well, it doesn't take that much practice, but it, it's definitely not that easy to do. But now that my Archangel is like super beefed up with all the new tech, it's like a crazy, crazy scorpion killer. It will kill scorpions so fast now, it's awesome. So yeah guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. I might chime in every now and then if I have something to say, but for now I'm out. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, so here I just want to chime in again. This as you can see is a platoon full of infiltrators and as you can see I targeted right in the center there with my Archangel and it's killing the infiltrators one by one as you can see that even though they're cloaked they'll still take damage and they won't move away if they're being hit. The only problem is I, I was having trouble finding them so I decided to bring in my Night Owls and um, I took a lot of damage right there that wasn't needed. Now you know that you want to hit the center and then go off to the left a little bit that's where the rest of the infiltrators will be but I took about 30 minutes repair on that and I didn't need to take that damage at all so that's a neat little tip for dealing with infiltrators especially if the person is offline because they have no way to move them So here I used one Skybolt missile to take out this whole platoon of special forces. Skybolt missile is like level 4 or something and it only costs 75,000 thorium. Now I'm not sure why the platoons appear to be only half healed. I don't know if that's like a hacker thing, maybe these guys are cheating or maybe it's just a glitch but <clears throat> either way I was having a lot of fun killing them. And then right there I realized that these guys, um, this guy in particular had Sarkis in his platoon. So I brought in my Archangel right there to kill it, and right there at the last minute you saw that he died. So right at the last moment I hit end attack because I thought I wasn't going to kill him, but I did end up killing him. So now I'm up to about an hour repair on my Night Owls again because Sarkis got a shot off on one of the Night Owls. And I just kept going around and killing more platoons. Right here, I just wanted to put um, Sarkis in base defense, which I quickly realized was a horrible mistake. I was trying to get footage of killing some Banshees, but man, I um, these guys are attacking me with Night Owls, so there was no reason for me to do that. 
and the night owls if they float over him they'll target him and kill him so I come back into my base and guess what I find? I find a dead Sarkis, that's what I find. Okay, so one more tip for taking out Viper X's. Um, do not use the Archangel because you won't damage it enough and the Viper X can hit your Archangel. I recommend you use Night Owls. You will take damage on the Night Owls, <clears throat> but it'll kill him. The Night Owls will kill it pretty quick. It'll be, it, it's a good trade-off just because the Viper X has 16 hours repair while you will not get anywhere near that much repair. So, I like killing them. I killed two of them in this video. I thought it was worth it. Here, I wanted to test out my new um, Scorchers. I had never actually used them outside in Platoon Fighting. I thought they were pretty cool right there. They did nice against the Javelins. Obviously, they're going to do good against Javelins, but I wanted to try them here against these Scorpions, see what they could do, but they weren't enough. The Scorpions ended up giving me about uh, well, I think it was like an hour and a half repair. Not too bad, but I don't know. I just wanted to test them out. I hadn't used them before. So as you guys saw here, I was kind of bored, I wanted to do some attacking, but my game started lagging like crazy, and as you guys you guys will notice there, I lost a bunch of Night Owls because I couldn't retreat them, and in the drone silo, the, the Reaper drones have those stupid blitz turret or whatever it's called, with their retarded 200% damage, or I don't know what it is, but it's something on the Reaper drones that pretty much annihilates Night Owls. It's happened to me once before. And I always try to target the drone silo, but my game was so laggy, I couldn't click on it, and I lost a bunch of night owls, I was so mad. I was like, that was a waste of an attack, I should have left this base alone, I knew I wouldn't be able to take it. Um, then these machine gun turrets killed one of my banshees, and at this point I was like, ah, I was getting pretty frustrated. Because I don't know why I decided to hit this base, I just wanted to attack somebody, and it was the first target I found. But I mean, it was still a decent target to take out. <clears throat> but you guys saw there, I got like 8 hours damage. I was pretty annoyed. Just posted it in the chat, let everybody know that I can fight back too.
Okay, so this platoon, I killed it, and then I was trying to find all the infiltrators, uh, so I brought in my Archangel again, did a nice little trick, and killed those two infiltrators a bit. I started lagging a little bit here, getting those, um, could not load attack data, right there I got it once, and then I don't, I don't know why that happens, but it's really annoying because it, that's when they start to snipe my platoons when that happens. <clears throat> so in chat, these guys were talking not English, you know, getting annoying. They kept they kept typing um, WK, WK, WK over and over. And it, it makes me think of Pac-Man. Like, every time they type that, they type it so much. I think it means like LOL in their language, but I don't know what it means. And every time I see that, the first thing I think of is Pac-Man. It's so funny. And then the way they laugh, it makes me think of a horse. That's what horses sound like. This guy sent a platoon of Scorchers to my base. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I some people, man, I don't understand. So as you guys can see here, I found some hellhounds. I love killing hellhounds. I always will love killing hellhounds. I love that little trail of missiles. It's just so satisfying. I don't know why. And if they're so easy to kill. Right there, I used a retreat function. I, I really like that function. It's such a great idea. I'm really, really not scared to bring out heavy tanks anymore because of that. I used to just never do it because there was no point to it. But now with that new function, if they start attacking you, you just join the battle and you can um, retreat your platoon. So here, these guys are holding my base. I had to pause the video for like 10 minutes because the guy wouldn't get out of my base. I finally, he ended the attack and I was able to get a platoon out. And so I started killing more scorpions, like always. Oops, sorry about that. I was watching the World Series of Poker on another tab. Totally forgot all about that. <clears throat> so this is the last bit of footage I have. This is basically... This, I actually just took this about 20 minutes ago. Because I needed some more filler so that I could get the video up to the appropriate length. So I decided to pop one more time. Killing this platoon right here was so, so satisfying. It's like such an expensive platoon to repair. Oh my gosh. I thought it'd be at least 10 hours. Obviously these guys are coining, but it's still pretty satisfying. Once again, they sent another ground platoon to my base. Don't know why they do that. Might as well send a buggy. No difference. Some more scorpions. I don't know how they all have this arctic camo on their scorpions. That's what's making me think that these guys are maybe cheaters. Like, there's so many just completely maxed level 41s. I didn't check their IDs, but I mean doesn't matter. I'd rather not know. <laughs> so yeah, this video is coming to a close. It's about two minutes left. Um, I'm actually working right now on a really exciting video. 
Um, I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be great. It should be done in three days when the event is over. It's a video compilation of me stealing the new Sandstorm convoy bases for the Inferno. The new Inferno bases, I guess. I just steal a crap ton of them. Like, every time that... I have not missed one drop. I've been on for every single drop. I, I've been getting insanely lucky. As soon as I log in, the sandstorm bases are about to drop, and I start sending platoons all over the map, getting ready, and just... People, they're so unsuspecting. They'll attack, and they'll end the attack, and then um, I will just destroy them. So as soon as they end attack, I've been stealing bases. I'm up to 14 bases, <laughs> which is more bases than I've ever done before. I've never even done any of them actually on my own. So I'm hoping to get up to at least 20 by the end of the event, maybe more. So far, I've gotten crappy prizes. I'm hoping I'll get the Inferno or something, but we'll see how it goes at the end. So right after, I think right after this platoon, they finally caught my buggy, so I was like, I didn't feel like popping again, and I was like, okay, that's enough for now. I've had enough fun. The guy killed my buggy, so there you go, you can see I've taken 14 out of 120 bases, and I'm hoping to get up to 20, maybe 25 if I'm lucky, depending on how much these guys try. Right here I went ahead and bought the corrosive coating, just wanted to spend some of that XP I had. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it would be great if you guys could drop a like, or subscribe if you want to see any of my future videos. Also, go on to Facebook and search Taco Man War Commander, and you will find my Facebook page, which is um, where I'm going to be posting all new videos and stuff. I'm also on the forums as Meme Man. And lastly, if you guys would like to leave a comment down below, that's my favorite part of doing these videos. I love reading comments. I love people telling me things about their sector, about what they think about my attacks. You know, I just love responding to them. So leaving comments is one of my favorite things. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.